Hey loves and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing probably my most asked video for this year which is my 2022 acrylic brush collection. So this is just like a really fast intro so I can get started. I have so many brushes to go over. Um, I have some on the side. So I can't wait to go one by one explaining things. This is perfect, especially if you're a beginner or it's perfect if you just wanna see my acrylic brush collection. I do love acrylic brushes. Um, if you've been following me for a while, then you do know that. So let's go ahead and start. So this is um, one of like my storage areas for my brushes. Now these, so these are nail art brushes, which I'm not going to be going over in this video. Um, this is just for acrylic brushes. These are brushes that I do not use anymore. These are brushes that I don't know why I hold on to because I don't use. Um, but I feel like I have sentimental value to basically everything. <laughs> so like that's probably why I haven't gotten rid of them. But let's just go over them like really fast one by one. This one right here, I actually got during cosmetology school. They made us use this huge brush and it was not great like it literally every time you use it you get a acrylic stuck in the bristles um and it's called the ultimate big boy i'm guessing it's like a size 16 or something um because it's huge i did not like it but i just i kept it this one right here is a number six round brush it's super tiny and i got it when i first started doing nails because i wanted something smaller to help me get to like the cuticle area part but i wouldn't recommend going this small i only use it like once or twice and then once i began like cleaning it in my nail brush cleaner solution that happened so i just i stopped using it i didn't like it this one was one of my first brushes that i would get i it was one of my favorites i absolutely love them I got these off of Amazon and let me just tell you that every link will be down below in my description box for you guys. Um, so this is a number eight, but now like looking at it, it's more of a number six. These do run smaller, but it's perfect for beginners. And then these right here, they all look the same. I definitely want to show you guys my favorite brushes. That's why I'm kind of skimming through these. Um, these are just ones that I don't use anymore, but I don't want to give away either because they're like super used up. Um, so yeah, these are alpha, or I guess this one's an alpha brush. This one's a number nine. And then these I would get off of eBay and they're all different sizes, like eight, 10, 12, and 14, but they would get really, really like messed up. So it took me a long time to find the brush cleaner that I absolutely love the one I've been using for a long time, but I wasn't using that back then. So I would really, either A, I would forget them in the solution that I was using, or B, the solution was too harsh for these brushes and it would mess up the bristles like bad, big time. And even if I was cleaning them, like you can still see acrylic stuck in them. So these are completely ruined at this point. This one, I don't even know what this is. This looks like size two or something, but it's really, really tiny. This one is from Sawmi Acrylics, and this is a number 12. Model ones, number 12. BT Art Box, number 12. Another McCart. This one, I'm not sure what it is, but I did not like it at all. Like, the, I don't think it's 100% Kalinsky. And every single time I would dip it into the acrylic, it would just get stuck every single time. Here's another CV Nail Supply one, number 10. And then this one's another one of those that I told you guys I don't like. This one's brand new, but I, I'm not gonna use it because it's the same one. Here's another McCart one. And this one I think is a size like six because it's really small. Another BT Art Box. I'm not too sure where I got this one, but it looks absolutely tiny. I don't know why I would get them so small back then. So I think this says number 24 in yeah I, I don't know what's going on right there and then this one's from young nails an artistic sculptor um this one i did use for quite a bit but it would pick up really really small beads and so i, I don't like it and then this one i ruined it back when i was a beginner and so i cut the bristles which is something you should never ever 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 do do not cut the bristles but i did and it like messed up my acrylic application and yeah 
And then this one is from D&D &D, number 10. Um, I'm not sure why it's in there. This one I actually do like, but yeah. So these are brushes that I do not use anymore. Ones that I did use in the beginning of my nail career, but I don't anymore. Um, they're either too small, they don't work for me, I mess them up. <laughs> for a lot of reasons that are in that um, container. So let's move on with this one so i have them in this huge pink container and i actually have them in their individual spots for a reason so basically my my liner brushes from my website are right here so these were in another section and i put those in there because they have like caps and i don't know i just have them that way so i have the mccart pro which is a number 16 i got this one on my trip to new york the too cute one which i th this one was their older one like their older version and they only had one size at that point and then this one is their newer one and i absolutely love these are like brushes that i would use which is one that i just got it's in a number 14 And then I have two Valentino ones. I actually had three. I don't know where the other one is. This one is in the size 12. And I bought it when it came in a bundle. It came with the 10 and a, or a 12 and a 14. Something like that. But I do have the other one. I don't know where it's at right now. And then this other Valentino one is their collab with Queen of Nails. And it's in a number 14. These are ones that I use, but like not all the time. Um... It's this one, the one that I got from eBay like a long time ago. And then I have these two Phoenix Nail Co's, which are so beautiful because they're pink. Oh, here is the Valentino one. I don't know why it wasn't there. But yeah, let me put the Valentino one right here. So these are some of my favorite ones. And it's the Butte Galleria number 12, which I got off of Amazon. It's like, it, I think I've had it for like two, three years and it still works amazing. The Nail House Kalinsky brush number 12. Young Nails, the, I think this is the Greg signature brush in the number 12. The Two Guys number 12, which is one of my um, newest brushes. And I really like how small, like short it is. D, D number 18 now i have not used this one as much i tried it one time but you guys know that 18 is a little bit too big for me right now i usually stick to 10 12s and 14s have not gotten to that level yet of picking up such a big bead and working with it but i do have it there so when i use it and then here's another um shop lacquerish which is one of my favorites i've used it for so long look at it This one, uh, Mia Secret sent it over in their PR box and I absolutely love it. And then here's another Shop Lacquerish, which I haven't used, it's new, but I always like to keep a backup of it because I love it. I have a few new ones, which I will be showing you at the very end because I have a lot of new ones. Then we have this little jar right here, which I keep behind my desk. These are ones that I have used already for videos or whatever, and they have acrylic in them. And then after I have a, a certain amount in here, like um, six to eight, however many the cup holds, I actually clean them after a few days. Um, so I just keep them in here so that way I don't grab it and use it again because it's going to have acrylic stuck on it. Um, so this one is, or these two are actually ones that I'm trying out for Crafts by Nine, my website, which I will be bringing soon to the website. And then I have these two Kiara Sky ones, a 10 and a 12. And then this uh, not polished one, which is a number 14. I really need to get a new one because I've had this one for so long. It's one of my favorites. It works perfectly. I use it all the time, but I definitely need to have a backup. So that way when this one's in this jar and it's gonna get cleaned, I can have another one to use. So those are all the ones that are dirty right now or not dirty but like you know used this is the jar that i keep right next to my desk um so those other two jars i keep them behind my desk as well because those are kind of like um ones that i'll use but not like an everyday use 
but these are my everyday use ones um these are just brushes that i would use every single day if i could um so it's in this jar right here Alrighty. so these three right here are ones that i'm um trying out for my website to possibly bring them into my site um and i just got these in the mail i haven't used them yet so i'm super super excited i'll be like you know letting you guys know any updates with that and then this one is another possible crafts by nine brush which i have been loving and using lately and then these are my absolute favorite if i had to pick two brushes i'll let you guys know at the end i'll let you guys know at the end my top five because i did that in my last video so i'll show you guys at the very end but you guys know how much I have raved about and love using the Kiara Sky brushes. So these are like the ones that I'll just like grab um, because I use them a lot during my videos. Um, I have, let me see, right here, just in this one because I do have a lot of new ones, which I will be showing you right now. But I have three of the original color and then three of the pink ones. I have size 10, 12, and 14 on the pink ones, which I did pinch. I have a video on that here on my YouTube channel. And then I have a 10, 12, and 14. See, I told you those are my favorite sizes. A 10, 12, and 14 on this one. And only one of them is pinched. This one and not these. It's up to you if you like them pinched or not. And now, let's go ahead and go into my new brushes. Which I am a little bit shocked of how many I have, to be honest. So these are ones that are out of their packaging and then I have a lot more that are in their packaging. Um, so here's this one from McCart. And then I have two Kiara Sky ones, a number eight, which came in their acrylic kit. And then a number 16. A number 14 Phoenix Nail Co. A number 20 D&D &D one, which they sent in their PR, but it is huge, you guys. I mean it's i wish i could use it right now but i'm still at a 14 and then here is another uh shop lacquerish one which i guess i have another one another new one cool but this one has like the top the plastic and the other one doesn't oh i have this melody Susie one which is a size 12 i just got it recently I also just got this one for Christmas PR from Nail House, and it's a number 16. I have the 12 and the 14, and I'm super excited to use a 16 because I love their brushes. And then Kiara Sky, I have um, two, four, six, seven. I have seven new ones. So here are two number 12s in pink. Oh, three number 12s in pink. A number 10 in pink and a number 18 in pink wow I was feeling bold or something when I ordered this one because this one is huge but I have seen nail techs um, been using the number 18 and they make it look so easy and then here are two of the original Kiara Sky color and this one's in a number 10 and a number 14. So I haven't opened this these because um, I have so many other ones that I need to use. And so once like one goes out or like, you know, I stop using it, then I'll open that one. Because I feel kind of bad at opening those without me needing them when I have so many over here. Alrighty, so as I was organizing these brushes and before I tell you guys my top five favorite brushes, I'm actually going to be doing a giveaway of one of my new brushes one that's never been used um and it's still in its original packaging one of the last ones that i showed you it's gonna be this acrylic brush in the number 10 which is perfect for beginners so any of my you know nail techs that are subscribed to me and follow me on here and are watching this video i will be doing this giveaway for you guys all you have to do is comment on this video that you want to be entered in the giveaway subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and comment your instagram name that's all you have to do to be in the giveaway and i will use a random comment generator that will randomly pick one of you guys to win this number 10 kiara sky acrylic brush and you must be in the united states and that's it 
you don't have to pay for shipping you don't have to pay for anything i will cover all the expenses um all you have to do is do that it's a little something to give back now that i'm like seeing all of this i'm like you know there's a lot of beginner nail techs or nail techs that would love to use a kiara sky brush or have it so i would like to do a little mini giveaway for you guys so good luck to everybody that joins and another thing i do do a lot of giveaways you guys i try to do them on my instagram and here on my youtube channel i try to do them separately so that means i had to do double the things and i do do them year round at random times um once there's a giveaway winner chosen i usually delete that post on my instagram and so that's why some of you may not see them but i have done a lot of giveaways for you guys and I will be doing a lot more in 2023, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. So now, let's go into my top five favorite brushes. And they are in no particular order, but I'm just going to be explaining why I love them and why I recommend them. So, any of the Kiara Sky brushes, they are absolutely amazing, not only for beginners, but for any level that you are in in the nail world. Um, they have them in sizes from sizes 8 to 20, I believe, or 8 to 18, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and they're absolutely perfect. I can use these on a daily basis. Little to no acrylic gets stuck on these. It's super easy to clean. I know a lot of people that are like, how do you keep your brush so clean? And it really has to do with the brush itself. Um, it has to be 100% Kalinsky. And, you know, you just have to really know how to take care of your brush and i do have another video showing you how to clean your brushes and stuff i wouldn't wait for build up to you know be on the bristles and i wouldn't keep using it after using it one time i'm not saying have 100 brushes but i definitely would say to have backup brushes so that if you have a client back to back you don't keep using the same one if you get acrylic stuck on the first one the not polished brushes um this one is super super like stuck with acrylic because i just made a video showing you what not to do with your acrylic brushes and yes i use this one so there it is but this not polished one is amazing i love it one because of the color it's red and shiny and pretty it's really easy to use super lightweight but not only that it's 100 percent kalinsky and i mean it makes the acrylic application flawless if you've been following me on my instagram you see a lot of my videos me doing acrylic application with this brush and it just it makes it so so easy to use now of course i couldn't forget any of my crafts by nine ones now i have been super obsessed with these um i'm not sure which one i'm going to keep on the website or which one i'm going to have but i've been using these for months now um like in secret i haven't been posting that there for my website um up until recently but they are absolutely amazing i still have other ones that i need to try out in different sizing but they are absolutely amazing. They're 100% Kalinsky, and I just love it. I'm not sure what... Well, this one's not going to be the um, final like piece. It's going to be one of these two or um, some other ones that I actually have on the way. But I need to test all of them out for a really long time before I actually put them out on my website. Because if I don't love something, I'm not going to put it on my website, you know? So I just know that you guys will absolutely love them. Another one of my favorites is the Shop Lacquerish. They're actually um, moving where a house is right now. So their shop is closed at the moment, but they will be opening really, really soon. And it used to be called Lacquerish by Tina. So that is why these say that. But it is now called Shop Lacquerish. But these brushes are absolutely amazing. I've been using them for a really long time too. The Nail House brushes, they are absolutely amazing and super easy to work with. Perfect for beginners. And... Um, I just love the actual hand piece. It's super easy to hold and it's just so beautiful. Look at it. It's like an iridescent color. So those are my top fives. I love um, a lot of other brushes, of course, but if I were to just choose five, since you guys love to make me choose three and I can't, I would choose these five brushes. I would recommend these to anybody um and they're just amazing everything that i showed you here i will try to link down everything i hope you guys learned you know something or maybe want to purchase something from one of these websites um and make sure to enter the giveaway good luck to everybody the winner will be chosen in exactly one week from when the video is posted thank you guys so much um all the love all the comments i have been reading and trying to um comment back i have been receiving so much love on my past 
few videos so any kind of video that you guys would like to see make sure to comment down below but this is my 2022 acrylic brush collection i can't wait to show you guys my 2023 i want to see what's changed what's different i will be announcing it on my instagram and only only will i be reaching out to you guys via instagram dm so i myself from at beauty by myra i will be writing it right here the only instagram that will be reaching out to you um a week after this video is posted and i will also be posting the winner on my story that same day so when it's chosen i will be posting it on my story and if you see that you are tagged in my story you will then receive a dm following up to that instagram story after i post about it on my story and i will be saying you know like congratulations i have had giveaways before and that's why it doesn't make it fun to do as many giveaways anymore as i used to because it was like fake pages like a few seconds after i posted about it and then they would reach out to everybody on my list and then it would tell them that they won and they need to give them certain information like i would never do stuff like that so this is a youtube giveaway i know but i like to reach out through instagram because i like for you guys to know that it is me and i like to really know that it is you guys so that is why I like to um, message the giveaway winner through Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.